Let's calculate the domain of the function we see on the screen. The square root of x minus 1 plus the natural logarithm of x plus 1. When we're asked to for calculating the domain of a function, we look for the biggest interval of the real numbers where the function makes sense. When does our function make sense? We see that in the function we have the addition of two different things this here and this here a square root and a logarith logarithm so the whole expression will make sense when the two parts of it make sense at the same time let's begin with the square root of x minus 1 we know that a square root makes sense when what we have inside is bigger or equal zero so x minus one has to be bigger or equal zero the, go the one goes to the other part as plus one and we have x bigger or equals zero so drawing the domain here we would have this one and we see that it makes sense from 1 to its right that's when x is bigger or equals 1 and when does the logarithm make sense? as we know in general a logarithm makes sense what, when what we have inside is bigger than 0 not equal or a negative number so x plus 1 is bigger than 0 the one goes to the other side as minus 1 and we have x bigger than minus 1 so the logarithm makes sense when x is bigger than minus 1 as I said before if we want f of x to have sense, both the root and the logarithm have to. This means that the x has to be bigger or equal 1 and bigger than minus 1. Which x makes this true? We see see that these numbers has to be on the right of 1, which are at the same time bigger or equals 1 and bigger than minus 1. So the domain of f of x is from 1 to plus infinite